Dave Campbell's Texas Football is the official rankings provider of the Associated Press. Uh, we have put out the state's uh, most respected Texas high school football rankings for decades, and we have been the official AP partner since 2019. The rankings are compiled by the Dave Campbell's Texas football staff. Winkley rankings are revealed live on TexasFootball.com every Monday at 1215. That is a lie on our website. <laughs> lie on our website. 1226-ish uh, on TexasFootball.com. Time to get to your week eight Dave Campbell's Texas Football Associated Press rankings. We will start in Class 6A. 6A, not a ton of movement altogether. South Lake Carroll tumbles from number 7 or to number 13 with their loss uh, to Rockwall. Uh, Rockwall leapfrogs them from number 13 up to number 12 in that close win, but a great win uh, for Rockwall. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the rest of it is changed. Duncanville, despite their loss to IMG Academy, stays the same at number 2. Elsewhere, uh, down, at the, uh, down at the bottom of the rankings, re-emerging into the rankings after a nice win over Temple, Arlington Martin back into the rankings at number 25. Otherwise, a lot of chalk in the 6A rankings. To 5A we go, where number 8 College Station drops out. Everything else relatively the same. Denton, Ryan, Highland Park, Lancaster, Richmond Foster, Manville, Cedar Park, Longview. Uh, Coronado up a spot to number 8. Frisco Lone Star gets their first win of the year. They are up a spot to number 9. And new to the rankings, number 10, Corpus Christi Veterans Memorial into the rankings at number 10. I should mention, by the way, that uh, the way that we are going to treat forfeits is that obviously it will count into the rankings, but because these are not reflections of the quality of the teams, largely they will be, they will be treated as no contest for rankings purposes, but will go down as a loss in the record column. 5A Division Two, we go, where Bernie Champion at number 8 drops out. That uh, nudges Texas High from number 8 to number 10. Top 7 unchanged, Ennis Alito, a and Consolidated, Wichita Falls Rider, Fort Bend, Marshall, Frisco. Uh, new to the rankings, you thought they were going away, huh? Yeah. Liberty Hill into the rankings at number 10 at 3-0 with a 76-0 win over Austin Crockett. To 4A. We go. The top nine entirely unchanged. Argyle Lane passes Waco La Vega, Port La Vaca, Calhoun, Corpus Christi, Cal Allen, Canyon, Melissa, Andrews, and El Campo. But new to the rankings, back into the rankings, Paris at number 10. Their 50 to nothing win over Carrollton Ranchview earns them the number 10 spot. To 4A Division 2 we go, where largely the same. One through nine unchanged. Carthage, West, West Orange, Shark, Pleasant Grove, Jasper, Belleville, China Spring, Gilmer, Iowa Park, and Wimberley. But back into the rankings at number 10, Salado. They beat Waco Conley 20-15 to 15 to earn the number 10 spot in our 4A Division 2 rankings. Into 3A we go, where... No, almost entirely chalk. The big, the only move here is that Lano, their win over Comfort, 49-17, nudges them ahead of Wall, who did win big over San Angelo TLC. But Lano's win was certainly more impressive at 6-0. They move up a spot to number 8, Wall down a spot to number 9, everything else unchanged. In 3A Division 2, it is, again, just a lot of switching here. Poth jumps ahead of Idle East Bernard with their 49-10 win over over uh, George West. They are up to number four. Uh, also, uh, I believe there's one more. No, that's it, I guess. Uh, everything else is the same. Childress uh, still holds on to that number 10 spot. Everyone else unchanged. Two, 2A Division One we go. Where? One through nine, unchanged. Shiner, Refurio, Post, Lindsay, Joaquin, San Saba, Crawford, Timpson, and San Augustine. But back into the rankings at number 10, Cisco. 28-14 winner over Winters at 3-3. Three and three. They are back into the top 10 at number 10. To 2A Division 2 we go, where entirely chalk. Everyone was either idle or a winner. Mart still your number one team in 2A Division 2. To 1A we go. The six-man rankings helped to compile by our friend, uh, Granger Huntress at sixmanfootball.com. A little bit of changes here. Borden County's big kind of makeshift win over Jonesboro gets them up to number three ahead of Idle Rankin. May nudges up a spot ahead of Idle Happy with a 49 nothing win over Gorman. Union Hill nudges ahead of Lakey to move into number seven with their win over Fort Worth Classical Christian. Knock City up a spot to number nine. And new to the rankings at 5-0, and oh, the Patriots of Turkey Valley. 5-0, and oh, big 48 nothing win over McLean. 1A Division 2 we go, where again, just kind of a little bit of shifting, 1 through 4 unchanged, Balmeray, Richland Springs, Calvert, or Motley County, and Calvert in the top 4, Jayton is idle, but they jump up a couple of spots ahead of Groom and Klondike, new to the rankings, at number 8, Anton 
The Bulldogs beat Whit Harrell 67 to 22. Impressive. They take the number eight spot ahead uh, as Strawn goes up there to number nine. Follett drops a couple of spots to number ten. Into the private school ranks we go. Top five unchanged: Parish Episcopal, Fort Worth Nolan, Trinity Christian Cedar Hill, Plano John Paul II, and Fr San Antonio Cornerstone. All winners in their respective games. And in the six-man ranks, also the same. Austin Veritas, uh, Fredericksburg Heritage, New Braunfels Can uh, Christian, rather, Dallas Lake Hill, and Bastrop Tribe consolidated all either winners or idle. There they are, your Week 8 Dave Campbell's Texas Football Associated Press rankings. You can find those on texasfootball.com slash rankings.